Welcome back to Empowerment Radio. We are talking about uh, how to be happier, how to be more alive in 2017. And uh, one of my intentions is also to be more in the mode of paying forward. And this is why I would like to offer uh, a little raffle every time when we do the Empowerment Radio Show. And so if you email at info at the fear and anxiety solution.com, that's info at the fear and anxiety solution.com and simply write down radio show or empowerment radio in the subject line, you will be automatically put into a raffle that will give you for each show the chance to win one of those self hypnosis CDs, either be you, be free or be well. And at the end of the month, you will automatically put into a raffle to win uh, potentially a uh, video seminar, six sessions on demand that is priced for $350 and you can have it for free if you email at info at the fear and anxiety solution.com and will be put into the raffle and hopefully you will win. So that could make you already happier and more alive in 2017. Now we talked about collecting joy points and talking back to that inner voice and claiming the role of being the mentor for yourself, which I think is just a really important and empowering way of communicating with your subconscious mind, because ultimately it is your subconscious trying to communicate with you. So why shouldn't we talk back? Now, another step along the way of greater aliveness and happiness is to switching out of this just get it over it mood. Just get it over with and switch into make the most out of it. Now, it sounds a little abstract. Now, let me get more clear. Many times during the day, you just slog through it, whether it's going to, you know, through the traffic, on your commute to work, when you are in the gym on the treadmill, when you're sitting, you know, maybe with colleagues at lunch, whatever it is, how often do you just want to get it over with? Just know, okay, another three hours that I just have to sit here or another 45 minutes, I have to endure this. Maybe you become numb and feel nothing. You just know I'm just going to, you know, watch the time passing by and I'm looking forward to being it done. But how much time do we actually kill this way? You know, the other day when I was in Florida, Apparently, Florida was very rich for me. Uh, I was running and I love to run. But on that day, I was actually running, thinking I'm looking forward to have it done. I was really looking forward to have that run because I knew how far it's going to go and so on to have it over with. And it occurred to me that I'm missing out on so much what actually happened during the run because I already thought about the next thing. And I wasn't really present with where I was. And so I stopped myself. I kept on running, but I stopped myself from getting it over with and opened my mind to making the best out of it. And what I saw were birds that I hadn't seen before that were beautiful, like cranes and ibises. I took in the smell. I just enjoyed the warmth and the sunshine. I greeted the nice people that I found uh, incredibly friendly there. There was just a lot of wonderful little encounters that I would have completely missed out on if I would have just thought, let's just get it over with. And I invite you just to really shift your attitude and, and think about the daily things and if you are really fully engaging into them. Now, whenever I left a job, the last day at work, I told myself, okay, now I need to really savor it. I need to soak it in. I need to enjoy the conversations with my colleagues. And I need to look at this place, you know, as I can remember every detail of it. And 
You know, it's sad because why did I wait for the last day to make and get the most out of it? So when you next time sit in traffic and you just get annoyed or you go into autopilot and you're not really feeling present, just ask yourself, what else can you do to get the most out of it? Is it possible that there would be a good time to breathe and just do a little centering exercise? Or is it good for you there to start looking for something that's uplifting on the radio or listening to a book on tape or listening to Empowerment Radio or Transformation Talk Radio? Or when you are maybe sitting with your parents at Sunday dinner and you just feel like, ugh, can't wait to go home and watch Sunday Night Football, maybe that is the moment to look at your parents and and really realize, well, they will not be there forever. Chances are they will leave before me. So let's just slow down and let's have a deeper conversation or let's just talk about their past. And maybe there is some wisdom that they can share with me that really right now would be pertinent for me. Just allow yourself to use every day and every moment as an opportunity to make the most out of it. It can be simple things. It doesn't have to be necessarily earth shattering, but things that you just know you have done your best. You haven't just gone through the motions, you have been engaged. Maybe this is also about just being at work in a different mindset, in a different attitude, being more open, more helpful, having maybe more initiative, feeling more creative, having more of a voice. Just allow yourself to get more out of life and more of the things that you take for granted or that you just feel like are somehow mundane than you have in the past. And that brings me to the next point, which is allow every day to be a day where you explore, where you stretch and where you discover a little bit more about yourself. That is really fun because I believe in life we are here for one specific reason, which is ultimately to discover who we really are, to live and share our authentic selves. And so when we are staying in the little box, in a comfort zone, often we don't even maneuver ourselves into these zones. We feel like, well, the outer circumstances force us to be there. When we are in a place like that, we don't really grow, we don't really discover, and we certainly don't expand. So allow yourself every day to have your mind more open, to just do something a little bit different, to make yourself you know, a little bit more aware of things that you don't know about yourself. I mean, can be bigger. I, for example, thought that Germans cannot dance. They can march, but they can't dance. So, I signed up for a salsa course. Well, you know, I found out on some level it's true. I can't really dance very well, but it was a lot of fun. And it was great. And I enjoyed just this interaction with the dancing. And, and I certainly grew from the experience. But again, it can be also things that you do just with a little twist on your day-to-day -day work, on your day-to-day -day life. You know, maybe there is this sense of, well, I'm always having the same thing at lunch. And you never really try something else. But maybe there is a Korean place next door and you want to just try out what they have to offer. Or maybe you always go on the same route to work and you want to just find out something else. You want to take the train or you want to walk or take the bike. It's about really just being curious about what else is there about life and what else is about you as you're engaging with life. A client told me that she decided that she likes to go every week to a different museum. Now, she lives in New York, so it's kind of easy. There are many, many museums. But she picks the small ones, little ones, the obscure ones, like a museum of Ukrainian textile. Well, who comes up with that idea? But there exists a Ukrainian textile museum or a museum that has those textiles. And she went and she had a blast and it was very interesting. And it certainly enriched her and opened her mind. So you can see it is not just about going only introspective when it's about self-discovery. 
It is also about our engagement with life and with things that are outside of us, very different cultural things, circumstances, that then in that engagement make us discover more about ourselves. When we come back, we will talk more about this and also I will guide you through this centering exercise I talked about at the beginning, that is connecting mind, body, spirit and emotions. Stay tuned. Thank you.